Leo Carlson was drafted second overall to the Anaheim Ducks in the 2023 NHL Entry Draft. Unfortunately, in his first season, he did go down with an injury after a collision with Mackenzie Wieger. It did look pretty bad, but he has since come back and started playing for the Ducks once again. This Swedish forward is a highly touted prospect, so let's go ahead and see what EA Sports thinks will happen in Leo Carlson's career. Let's get started with Leo Carlson, who is 82 overall and will start on the second line with Kalorn and Vitrano. So two players with some experience, quite a bit of experience between the two. That is a good place to put him in his first year. Has the ELC, of course. Not a great year for the Ducks out of the gate. They finished with 33 wins, 7th in the Pacific Division, and only 31 points from Leo in his first year was a dash 12. The Calder goes to Bedard, because it always does, and the Oilers take down New Jersey in the Stanley Cup Final. But look at this, the Ducks move up from 3-1, to one. they get the first pick, and with it they take 83 overall, medium elite, left wing power forward, Pecker. Now that did kind of concern me because Carlson is a center slash left wing. So I wasn't sure if this individual was going to kind of take away from his playing time in this simulation. But anyway, they've made the playoffs this year. 96 points. Carlson didn't have a great year, but Pecker did get the colder. So that's interesting. The Toronto Maple Leafs beat out the Avalanche in the Stanley Cup Finals. And we see two points in seven playoff games from Leo Carlson, who is now up to an 87 overall. Team is back in the playoffs, so they don't deserve to be. Just a really weak division there. But if you get in, that's all that matters. They did make it all the way to the Conference Finals, believe it or not, where the Colorado Avalanche take them down. And 13 points in 19 playoff games from Leo. That's solid. He's now up on the first line. Signs a new ticket at five years, around 9 million AAV. The team overall is looking fairly solid. Dostal kind of taking over the starting job now. But they are out of the playoffs again in year four here. Carlson did have 68 points in 78 games. Which isn't really that bad. Especially considering how the team is not having a whole lot of success overall. The Canadians beat out the Stars in five games. Leo Carlson is now the first line center at 89 overall has four abilities and the team makes the playoffs and they deserve to this time nearly 100 points for the team finishing third in the pacific leo carlson has his best season yet 93 points and they get absolutely rinsed by the vancouver canucks in round one didn't even put up a fight they took one game from them but that is it sydney the kidney what a career from that guy just shy of 1900 points leo carlson now passes the 90 mark he's at 91 has a gold x factor and they miss out on the playoffs, finishing fifth in the Pacific. Only 38 wins this year, but I feel like this is a monumental part of that. Carlson only played 45 games and had 55 points. So clearly his injury was brutal and it really cost the team. And because of that, now he's being punished? Put on the second line? Why, just because he's made out of glass? I'm kidding, but yeah, that's brutal. Demoted, but they have a great year, finishing seventh in the entire league. And hitting that 100 point mark, Leo Carlson has 92, was a plus 18. Not a lot of playoff success again. They did get to round two, but the Vancouver Canucks once again making light work of the Mighty Ducks. And it was also a good playoff run from Leo Carlson right there. So he's starting to put up a decent amount of points. And with that playoff run, Leo has found his way back on the first line with Zegris and Terry. And another good year from the Ducks. They're seventh in the league once more with 101 this time. So they just barely won up to themselves, quite literally. Carlson over point a game once again, but a first round exit at the hands of the Golden Knights. A good playoff run from Leo, though. Nine points in seven games. Still finds himself on the second line with McTavish and Appleton. Signs a short contract here. Just two years, nearly 12 million per. And the team is back in the playoffs. They finished sixth in the league. 105 points in 48 wins this season. Carlson over point a game. Zegers with 104, but he was a dash one. Leo was in the positives, at least. You know what I'm saying? Bedard, Calder, just an update there. Once again, the Golden Knights would be the demise of Leo and the Ducks. Another fairly solid playoff run and finds himself back on the first line. Absolutely loaded up with abilities. 91 overall. He's going to be playing with Pecker this time. And they miss out on the playoffs with 88 points. Carlson would have a great year, though. 96 was a dash two. The Boston Bruins would go on to take on the Dallas Stars in the Stanley Cup final and take them down in seven. Nikita Kucherov up at the top there for retiring players in year 10. Carlson and Zegras playing together. A long-term deal signed this time. Eight years, 11.7. The defense still looking all right. Goaltenders, not so much. They really fell off and they got snubbed here. 
12th in the entire league, 96 points, and don't make the playoffs. Carlson had 93 points and was a plus 8, which is very solid. And the Golden Knights would go on to take down the Columbus Blue Jackets in the Stanley Cup Final. Mark Scheifele, so close to 1,500, but couldn't quite get there. Another great year from the Ducks, 98 points. Getting into the playoffs once more, so they're back in the picture. Exactly point a game from Carlson. And Schmid, at like 81 overall, wins the Vezina. I did not see that coming. Although they made the playoffs, they might as well not have, you know? It was a very abbreviated run. And a massive retirement class this year. I'll, if you want to go back and pause it, be my guest. But there's a lot of big names retiring there. Maxime, going to be a new addition to that first line. Drysdale and Pavel, still the first defensive pair. Akira Schmid, 81 overall. The Vesna winner, Akira Schmid. They finished seventh in the Pacific this season. But Carlson had another good year. 93 points. Was a dash eight, however. The Sharks sweep the Flow Ride Panthers in the finals. Don't like to see that. Not a fan of Stanley Cup final sweeps. You can't be having that. Zegris, Leo, and Maxime will still be the first line. No more Pavel, and seemingly no more success for the Ducks. They finished dead last in the Pacific. 67 points and a minus 24. A miserable season. Chicago takes down the Jerks in the Stanley Cup final. This time it was seven, so that's good. Zegris, now only 83 overall. So this team is falling off, and they are falling off quick. This time they somehow do better though. They finish sixth in the Pacific, two better than last year. And over point a game for Leo, he has 85 points. We also get another Calder going to the Ducks and neither of them were Carlson. The Jerks would be successful this time. They win the Stanley Cup over the Jets in the final. And now Sims, the Calder winner, will be playing with 90 overall Leo Carlson. The Ducks have a horrific year. 63 points, third last in the league, not point a game for Carlson. He was also a minus 26, but he did get the Selkie. So that's his first trophy. You love to see that at a boy. Chicago and Columbus with duel in the finals. Chicago came out on top. Anaheim has the third pick this year. McDavid retires with nearly 2,500 points. Him and Matthews both got over a thousand goals. That is insane. They pick up Yasina, who is going to be on the first line right out of the gate here with Leo. They also got Lazarev, not sure where he came from. Could have been a trade, could have just been a free agency signing, who knows. But either way, the Ducks still aren't in the playoff picture. Sixth in the Pacific. Carlson, still doing all right, 75 points. Not too shabby. And a sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals again. No! Knock it off with that. The Seattle Kraken take down the Leafs in four straight. Here we go again with Carlson, Yassina, and Lazarev. Carlson's starting to drop off in overall. The team finished fourth in the Pacific, but still couldn't get in. Exactly point a game from Leo, who was a minus 17. Not good. San Jose wins the Stanley Cup this year over Columbus and Jimmy Superstar. Again, another player so close to 1,500, but just couldn't quite get there. Why are you doing this to me? Another two-year deal is reached between Carlson and the Ducks at 9 million AAV. They still aren't in the playoffs. So, kind of in a rebuild here, I suppose you could say. The Broad Street Bullies take down the Coyotes in the Stanley Cup Final. I feel like it'd be really cool to see the Coyotes in a Stanley Cup Final. I don't know why, it just would. 84 overall now, guys. Not looking good. He is 37 now, though, in the 20th year. So, unfortunately, we have not yet seen a Stanley Cup for Leo Carlson, and we won't be seeing one this year as they miss out on the playoffs. Fifth in the Pacific and 67 points from Leo it would be the Minnesota Wild taking home the Stanley Cup, defeating the Boston Bruins. And how about Fantilli just barely getting the 1,100 point mark? That was surprising for me. Carlson is down to 82 overall with just two abilities. Signs a one-year deal at 4.7 million. A big President's Trophy W this year and actually goes over point a game. I was very impressed by that. I mean, his line mates were sick. Vauclair gets the Jennings, so that is something to be noted. And the Islanders sweep the Winnipeg Jets in the Stanley Cup Final. Leo Carlson had five points in just six playoff games. Bedard gets the 1,000 goal mark as well. That is now a few players that we have seen pass Wayne Gretzky. In the goals column, anyway. No one's ever touching that points record. Carlson now has no abilities, but actually went up one overall. Signed a new deal, and also, they almost won the President's Trophy. They were tied with the Islanders with 115, but I'm assuming they lost in the row column or whatever the next tiebreaker would be. Carlson had 45 points. Vauclair kind of went off again here. Gets the Vesna and the Jennings. But the Senators 
would win the Stanley Cup. The Oilers take down the Ducks in round number two. And with 11 playoff games, Carlson at eight points and decides he is done there. 1,745 games played, 548 goals, 1,075 assists for a total of 1,623 points. Leo never had a season where he got to 100 points, never hit that milestone, but did have 96, which is very good. And also playoffs weren't too kind to him. That one conference final appearance was about it. Looking back on the career, it wasn't very decorated, but definitely earned some dough. 22 years worth of contracts signed at approximately $195 million in earnings. Stayed loyal to the Ducks, the only team he played for his entire career. Won the Selkie that one season and also took home a precedence. Looking at the all-time leaderboards here, Nikita Kucherov was 24th with 1,639 points. Leo Carlson had 1,623. And Logan Cooley, who actually retired the same year as Leo Carlson, was right on his tail, just three points behind him. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you guys could leave a like, subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And on that note, I'll see you soon.